So, first of all, I'd like to welcome everyone to our very first podcast. You'll be interested in knowing, I didn't even know what a podcast was <laughs> until about a month ago. And so, evidently, I'm now doing one. I was doing video tasks earlier. I was not doing podcasts, and so we're doing a combination of podcasts and video tasks. And I'm very lucky to have found someone to enjoy this experience with me. What what I mostly do is teach people how to use their right brain, and I have various approaches that work in activating your right brain. And the right brain is an incredible part of your anatomy that most people don't know how to use. The experts think that probably 88% of the people in our culture, maybe as much as 92%, are left brain dominant, and only about 8 to 11% are using their right brain. In other words, left brain wins. And it's partly, I guess, because logic and analysis are so seductive, and the logic and analysis are part of your left brain work. It does really well on that. The right brain isn't interested in logic or analysis. The right brain is interested in creativity and problem solving in new creative ways. And that's what we're going to do. Because what happens when you have anxious feelings and you're in a kind of a pressure situation, it makes you less confident, not more confident. So anxiety is not a useful emotion to have to have, especially if you're the least bit under the gun, so to speak, so you need to be at your best, and the anxiety seems to eat away at that ability. So today we're going to do a quick intervention that's just a new way to think, and once you know it, it's available to you anytime you need it. And actually, you may not need it very much, because if you use it a few times, then it just becomes automatic, and you don't have to think about it. Kind of fun. The brain is very clever the way it's designed. So let's start by having you go back to a time when you were aware of having anxiety. A specific moment in time, see it, hear it, feel it. And then take your time, it's no burden, you have plenty of time. You have it. Okay, I'm going to come a little closer because I'm, I'm going to put a little button on your arm. That's your anxiety. So see it, hear it, feel it again. Okay, and then I want you to go to a time when you were totally on top of the situation. You were in flow, so to speak. You were just, everything was working your way. See you and feel that. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Think of the one time that you were really. You knew you were doing a good job and it was working. Okay, let's go back to another time when you had anxiety. Can you think of another one? You have another one. That's anxiety number two. See, so we're here to We're just setting up buttons so we can activate it later. And then I want you to go to one of those peak performance times when you were really at your best. See it, hear it, feel it. You're really with it. And then I think you would pick another peak performance time. You can give your whole life. You can go back as early as you want and see if you have a third peak performance where you were really having a good experience and you were in you know, all your talents and they were working. Okay. All right. So. This is your anxiety, is that it? Mm -hmm. And this is your peak performance. The first one. Can you go back to that one? Bring it up. Mm -hmm. See it? Hear it? Feel it? Your second anxiety. Is that it? Is it your here? And this is your peak performance, second peak performance. Mm -hmm. 
the assumption that I use all your channels. This is straightforward anxiety. And this is your good performance. That work? Set up the buttons, mm -hmm. they work. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's just see what happens when we do them all together. Just pay attention to what's happening. Feel it all hooking up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I feel like, relaxed. Right, it's like an electrical cord, mm -hmm. except it's all in your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm going to I want to do another one. I, I mean, that's probably enough, but just for fun, let's try another one. Okay. I, then I want to ask you which one you like the best. Because okay. these are, they, both of them are actually doing pretty much the same thing, but they're kind of different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can you can um, pick another anxiety okay. memory and see if you're feeling. So you've got to really in your awareness and your consciousness, and now put your attention. You have anxiety? Mm -hmm. You got one? Mm -hmm. Okay, now put your attention in your right big toe and then move your attention to your second toe, third toe, fourth toe, third toe, 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 ankle, calf, switch feet, the other big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, third toe, 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 I did that. Come up into your torso, through your stomach, through your chest, through one shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, fingers, one, two, three, four, five, shift arm, shoulder, upper arm, elbow, lower arm, fingers, one, two, three, four, five. And come up into your upper body, through your chest, through your neck. Feel behind your ears, behind your nose, behind your mouth, behind your eyes, behind your forehead, feel the top of your head. Now come back to here and now. You have any anxiety? No, it's gone. <laughs> that's a quickie. That's if you need a quickie. Yeah. That's the way. You can do that, you know, mm -hmm. people will hardly know. It's, yeah. In 90 seconds, whatever emotion you're feeling dries out anyway. And so we're just using that. But also, it seems that your right brain doesn't feel fear. It just doesn't, doesn't bother with fear. It, whereas your left brain is designed to protect you. So it's constantly circling around looking for things to be afraid of. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're in your left brain, you probably don't feel some anxiety or fear. Mm -hmm. Fear and anxiety are the same thing. Mm -hmm. sure. Anxiety is not as intense as the fear. But those are two different ways to handle it. And I think it's just fascinating that the right brain has these abilities to see it's it's Especially interesting because the right brain picks up different data from mm -hmm. the world around us than the left brain, mm -hmm. and then it proceeds to organize that data in a completely different way. It does what's called parallel processing, mm -hmm. because the left brain does sequential processing, one thing at a time. Uh -huh. And so the right brain is just a lot more versatile. It can handle a lot. It, it takes all that data, different data, and it organizes it like a big collage where it all puts it all up and then it juggles it around. Whereas the left brain doesn't do that, it just takes one piece at a time. Yeah, and so it's the right brain is so much more creative mm -hmm. than the left. So 
Absolutely. And using that in day to day, you know, all of us should be doing it because it creates so much joy and peace for mm -hmm. our bodies. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. So the application of these techniques is when you have a sense of anxiety creeping in just to apply. Switch to the big yeah. toe. I yeah. call it the big toe exercise. The big toe and exercise. all I'm doing is putting your attention inside mm -hmm. your body, which puts you in the now. As long as you're in the now, you're in your right brain. And as long as you're in your right brain, you're not going to have any anxiety. It just goes away. So you can thank you. That's you're welcome. And that's almost worth finding. <laughs> <laughs> All the interesting jobs I have at my house. Yeah. I have another one. When yeah. you have a free day, I have another interesting job that's, that's, so, um, that's so demanding of creativity that I just sort of don't have time to fool with it. But I would like. Excellent. Explore it with you. Well, thank you so, very much.